Right. I'm standing here with Ross and Thomas, and we're going to uh, look at uh, the tabletop that they've been building. Yeah. Um, so we've put together a um, interactive coffee table with a computer and a touchscreen embedded in it. We built it all from scratch using um, parts we've purchased or scrounged um, from around the makerspace in Victoria. The uh, table itself is built out of, uh, I guess, one by twos for uh, frame support with um, pine to go around the outside edges. We've got some birch panels being painted by an artist in New York um, who will ship them back to us so we can put them on the sides to make it look pretty. And uh, basically, we're, uh, I'm trying to build this um, for my son who's a toddler right now um, just to give him a little bit more uh, computer interactivity right off the bat give them a place to finger paint other than my walls. A demo application we've got running right now. And we recognize easily 20 different touches. You can put your second hand on there. Yeah. And so it's recognizing all of our touches simultaneously and uh, randomly changing colors on us. Technology that we're using here is actually quite well documented in the NUI group. Uh, it's called the uh, Diffused Surface Illumination, or DSI. So we're using a special type of acrylic uh, that's uh, um, illuminates the surface and then um, uh, with an infrared light and then the infrared light uh, reflects back from your finger to the camera which is behind this behind this screen at the bottom of the coffee table. What kind of camera are you using? Uh, we're using an infrared camera and uh, the camera was actually a modified uh, webcam which is turned into an infrared camera using a bandpass filter. Oh, cool. Um, and then uh, the, there's a computer vision in the middle that actually turns a, takes the image from the camera and it uh, takes the uh, touch points. And this actually open source computer vision uh, tracker that we are using. And then uh, that's passed to the uh, uh, driver in, uh, in the middle, which is actually tra translates those messages that are sent from the computer vision to the operating system. It acts as a multi-touch device. Then the operating system, which is uh, in this case uh, Ubuntu, 11.04 and then uh, uh, takes those messages and passes them uh, along to the different applications and then they can interact accordingly. And I'm using the Makerspace to do a couple of things. Um, one of them is a project that I'm doing for a conference. I'm making the conference swag. And because it's an international conference, we're going to make cedar coasters, which is thematic for the area. And so I've just used, taken the cedar siding, it's pretty cheap, it's got a tongue and groove, so I'm going to use the wood shop next door, chop off that tongue and groove. Uh, over here on the computer I've got my, uh, my vector diagram ready, to, uh, for, ready for the laser cutter to engrave onto the cedar. And so you can see this is the conference logo that we're going to put on it. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to have, hopefully with a bit of patience, uh, 70 coasters. I'm actually also here to work on a personal project and that is a sculpture. This is called a Hexastix and it's a little bit hard to see but inside inside of this uh, bit of acrylic this is an octahedron and inside there there's a special sculpture uh, made by a math or invented I guess by a mathematician called George Hart and so I'm making a couple of versions of this some bigger ones and smaller ones and all of this is uh, using this laser cutter. 